So my memory card ran out on my last chair, and so I had to show you how to tie this off on a different uh, style seat. Uh, anyway, no, rather it's the same style seat, but it's, it's an armchair version. But what I've done is, is I've marked <clears throat> the two last cords that have come up through the bottom of the seat. Uh, preferably, I have my weave done uh, evenly so that when I come across from this side, you're talking about from the top, that I, my last weave comes over from here and I can just simply tie off on the last cord that comes through. Uh, but I had a little gap over on this side, on this portion of the weave, so what I did is when I came back across, I went ahead and took my last weave and came up and across to fill this in and make it a little bit more even. So anyway, but basically what I want to do is I want to tie off onto my last cord or my last two cords um, so that I'm tying against myself rather than another portion of the weave because I can loosen it. You know, if I tied off over here, I'd pull that weave out. Um, I mean, I guess I could come all the way across and tie off over here, but then I might as well tie off on this side. So what I've done is I put a little mark on both sides because sometimes you can't figure out which one it is and you forget. So what I'm going to do is, is line this up where it's supposed to land. I'm going to get that area wet. In fact, I like to kind of just bite on the cord a little bit to soften it because then it really lets me tie it tight, and then as it dries, make sure it softens. Okay, so whenever I pull this, I want to make sure that I got tension on it, and that on the underside it's not crossing anything. I can feel that it's not, but you know, for you, you might want to look and double check. So I'm going to get my cord around both of these. Normally I just tie off on one, but the way this is, I can't tie off in this area on the, the same cord because then I don't have any resistance. My cord would just slip. I need to be pulling against myself somehow. But here, I'm going to tie off to myself. This can be a little bit tricky, but uh, what I want to do is, yeah, am I doing this the way I want to? Not exactly, but let's see if I can get this over here like this. And then I want to come up and through this way. And that will get me tied off pretty well. Wish I had a better example to show you, but maybe this is a good opportunity for you to see how you can do something a little bit out of the ordinary. But however you do it, I mean, you just kind of follow a logical order, make sure that you're tying in such a way the knot cannot slip. And so I have a lot of distance between these two. So even though this doesn't look really, really pretty, I'm going to go ahead and tie off here again. But that's not how I want to tie it. I want to tie it like this. Come through this side. And like here. Okay. There we go. Now that's not going to slip. Okay, so now with this portion, I'm going to cut it off here and then I'm going to slip it between the cord layers. Kind of like you would do if you were stitching clothes. Sometimes you take the end stitch and you take it into the middle of the whatever you're doing, a pillow or something like that. And then you don't have any loose cord on the end. Cut it off. Let's tuck it between the layers. It's nice if you have a little something. I'm going to do it right here because I think it'll slip in a little bit smoother. In fact, if you grab the cord, oh, I can almost grab it over here. If you grab the cord like this, I'm going to pull it under and pull it back like that. Okay, we're done. Congratulations. Uh, you have a woven seat. Okay, well that's it. You wove a chair. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was useful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can visit my blog at Caleb James chairmaker.com and uh, I post some additional tips on uh, weaving Danish cord, um, information about contemporary chair making and Windsor chair making. So uh, come on over and visit my blog. And if you have any additional questions or I might be able to fill in some uh, gaps that I missed, uh, shoot me a question. Uh, hopefully I have the time that I can take to address it and um, you know, send me a picture of your chair. Uh, I'd love to see what kind of uh, weaves you're able to do with the information. Uh, put out there. Hope it was helpful. Anyway, enjoy. Have fun.